Hi beer geeks, or should I say non-beer geeks. Welcome back to Brad's Lowbrow, where we explore if technology can help you ch what's the, what's the tag? Tech cheats for beer geeks. Hi beer geeks, or should I say non-beer geeks. Welcome back to Brad's Lowbrow. Tech cheats for beer geeks. And today I want to deep dive into the world of beautiful designed, stylish, unusual bottle openers. Um, I think every object in your life should be practical and utilitarian, but who says it can't be beautiful and well considered and a, a work of art almost in itself? I'm a design obsessive and today I want to take you through some of the most beautiful, stylish and unusual bottle openers that I've personally discovered through many years of searching. Welcome to Lowbrow. So we're going to start pretty high concept here. Uh, this is inspired by Marcel Duchamp, who is a conceptual artist of the early 20th century. And this is, this is a piece made by uh, a modern British artist and designer called Michael Marriott. His Instagram is called Insta Marriott. And this is the 700C bottle opener. You may be asking yourself, Brad, what have you got there? Uh, what is a 700C bottle opener? Well, I can tell you what it is, guys. This is an anodized aluminium rim from a racing bicycle with a 700C bicycle wheel, <laughs> hence the name. Um, you can see there's rivets in it. These are the original rivets where the spokes were, which is pretty amazing. There's a little label there that says wood, metal, plastic, which is Michael Marriott's website where he uh, has got many items reimagined, made from found objects in a sort of similar way to uh, Marcel Duchamp used to make things out of toilets, telephones, lobsters, all kinds of stuff. And, and, and what this is essentially, is just, uh, you know, it's an upcycling of a wheel, right? So this is probably a bent wheel that was gonna be discarded into landfill. But thanks to Michael Marriott, this has now become a beautiful object of desire in my eyes anyway. This is a piece of art um, made by an artist and it's, it's also incredibly utilitarian. Uh, he sort of spoke in the design language of bicycles and he's used, I think this is called an M20 nut. So this is a, a standard size nut that you would get throughout your bicycle frame. And this becomes the very mechanism of the bottle opener. So I'm quite excited about this. Johnny, make sure you get a good shot of this. Hey, come on. I, it's, it's got something to it, this, that I find beautiful. Um, I think it's because it's lived a life. You can see the wear marks from, from where, you know, your brake levers have, have been uh, attacking this rim and wearing it down. You can see the profile through there of where the aluminium is, has got its strength from the sort of cross section. Um, it's a beautiful thing. I love, I even love this sort of neon paracord just that you'd hang it from. You know, this, this would take pride of place in my kitchen. I bloody love it. It's, it's a silly, ridiculous thing. Uh, it's anti-landfill. It saved this from the earth. Uh, it costs £14.50, which is quite a lot for a bottle opener. But, you know, you've got a genuine great British artist that's, that's made this by hand. Um, and you can buy this from Wood Metal Plastic or a Hato store in King's Cross if you happen to find yourself in London. It's a beautiful object, I love it. From the slightly ridiculous to the almost sublime, I'm now taking you to the bent nail bottle opener designed by Brendan Ravenhill from AreaWare, who's a, they're a design focused, well, they're a design house, let's be honest. They've made this thing, which is, I just love it. It's so ergonomic in your hand. It's, it's so simple in its elements. It's a piece of beautiful wood painted in a lovely color, dual magnets, and a painted bent wooden nail, right? So, you know, it appeals to me on many levels, aesthetically, the sort of playfulness of bending a nail 
and that becoming a tool. And the fact that this thing is magnetic, so it has an ability, hopefully, to hold on to your bottle lid, which is great, right? You can take that off. And the other great thing about this, one magnet, two magnets. Any magnetic surface, like your fridge, you stick it up there and it's gonna stay there forever. Brendan really has thought of everything with this design. Uh, he's a designer that's inspired by his surroundings, having grown up in the sort of wilds of Maine and being obsessed with sailing boats. You can almost see the sort of sweeping lines, how that could cut through an ocean. I can imagine it being magnetically attached to the wall of your sailing boat so it doesn't flop around mid-swell. It's a fantastic thing and I find myself going back to this year after year, uh, mainly because it's stuck to my fridge. Now sticking on the theme of yellow, as you can see I'm a fan of yellow, 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 yellow everywhere. Um, we're now going to look at this little beauty from Le Carafe, which is a, a French maker. And I bought this from a company called Dyke and Dean. This little beauty, stainless steel, quite a sort of, quite a common form factor that we've all sort of, we know it's reliable, like that isn't going to bend, that's not going to break. Um, but they've elevated it by dipping it in a sort of, almost a rubberized paint, which is very tactile. It's very yellow, which I approve of. We've got to put it to the test, but this is, this is quite cheap. This is £6.50, available at Dyke and Dean. And um, as you can see, it made short work of that bottle there. Um, and I just love it. I, I love the typography on it. It feels like it's from a different time. Um, it feels like it's gonna last forever. Le Carafe, beautiful. So talking about lasting forever, we're going to head to Germany now. And this is a Beechwood, a solid Beechwood bottle opener, also available from Dyke and Dean um, for the princely sum of five English pounds. Uh, this is German made. It's incredibly strong. Like this is not gonna break. This is not ever gonna break, right? The thing I love about this is the wood. So it's been treated, but there's, there's a beautiful tactile quality to the grain of the wood which just very, very pleasing in the hand. You can imagine over time, the oils in your skin, giving it a quality and you sort of like wearing it into yourself and it becoming almost a part of you. I'd say it's a bit big to carry around all the time, but this is such a solid bottle opener. Um, I'd recommend it in a bar setting potentially. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a very, very reliable piece. Um, you could even, in, you know, kind of, would burn your name in it if you wanted to personalize it. It's a wonderful thing. Let's see if it works. Of course it works. It's German. It's great. It's almost perfect, I would say. Just a little bit too big to sort of pocket carry, but it's a beautiful thing. I love it. So we've gone from the sort of slightly whimsical uh, through to the very much utilitarian, but beautiful. Now I want to take you to the slightly novelty uh, area. Of, of bottle openers, which, you know, I, I've got time for as well. And I think this is a thing of beauty made by, made by Floyd and company. Um, I'm actually quite jealous that they've made this because you won't know what, what I kind of want to develop as a product, but you know, I've got all these ideas in my head and this was certainly one of them. So this is the spin to see who pays bottle opener, which you spin around and it says whoever it points to pays the round. Um, now I wanted to develop this, but these guys beat me to it. Um, I'm not bitter, I'm not bitter, but I mean, I can really appreciate how well made this thing is and how well thought out the design was. So these are based on early advertising uh, pieces from uh, the turn of the century. Uh, if you look on eBay, you can find Coca-Cola ones that will set you back probably over a hundred dollars. Um, now this, you can buy from Floyd & Co for I believe under 10 pounds. Uh, it's solid brass. It's a pleasing thing. I love that, that how considered even this is with the aged brass little lobster clip. 
freeing it from your keys, freeing it to spin around. Nobody likes picking up the round. Um, hopefully you could work out how, how hard to spin this over time so you never pay for a round if you're cheeky. But anyway, we need to test if it works. So, oh, oh, hang on. This is not, this is not as good as the others. Oh, Damn it. Clearly not a bottle opener. Um, so it's a fail. It's, it's a joyous fail. And I almost want to keep it on my person just to play the game but uh, it's not a great bottle opener. So Floyd & Co, you know, come back to us with a better version of this where it actually hooks onto the beer. So I just got done saying how much I appreciate the sort of heft of the Beechwood German offering. Now I want to take you to something else, which I think I find all equally indestructible. It's the Anchor Steam Titanium uh, bottle opener, which I bought from the brewery over 10 years ago and this thing honestly it looks the same as the day i bought it it weighs hardly anything it's beautiful i really really appreciate the typography on it um i really appreciate the detail in the bottle cap all the engraving is incredible the little the little loop hole sorry where you can put it on your keys is very very nice as well i love this thing i don't i can't say that enough it's it Nigh on indestructible, as you know, titanium is almost like some sort of superhuman material. Um, I've used this thing as a pry tool to get under stuff. I've used it to open sort of hard to open um, bolts on tripods and cameras along the years. And it's, it's totally unscathed. This is 10 years old. It looks as fresh as the day I got it. And, you know, talking of fresh, the styling on it is beautiful as well. Typography is incredible. Uh, I love Anchor Steam branding and this is just a wonderful object. So arguably Anchor Steam are the oldest craft brewery in America. Um, now I want to take you to one of the oldest sort of design classics from American history. Uh, it's, it's the cast steel Star X stationary bottle opener. This thing was manufactured uh, exclusively by Brown Manufacturing Co. in Decatur, 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 Georgia. Decatur. Decatur. But you know, this thing, honestly, this is a little bit of history. And you know what Brad loves almost more than design is history. Like, we, this is so iconic. We all know what this is. Instantly, the language, we understand it. This, is, this has been made by, you know, for, numerous companies have, have sort of made this thing their own. But this is the original, this is the OG. Uh, this is available to buy from Labour and Weight uh, for the princely sum of £12. And I think, honestly, it's some of the best £12 you're ever going to spend. Never rusts. Uh, you could put this outside, you could put this inside anywhere. We could put this in the Brudio up here. Johnny's even got another one, very, very similar, made by a now defunct American graphic designer called Benny Gold. Um, this one's beautiful as well. This is work. <laughs> his, his catch line was, was works for jerks. And then he, he's gone back to working in the corporate environment now. <laughs> but I love Benny Gold and uh, the Star X is a classic, classic all time bottle opener. If you're not carrying it round, bolt it onto your favourite cool box, bolt it onto your hot tub, bolt it onto the side of your front door, your back door, your barbecue. This thing is reliable. It's going to be with you for the next 100 years, even if you're not going to be with you for the next 100 years. It's a stone cold classic. So if you haven't been able to tell already, I really, really enjoy manufacturing processes, materials, the design that's involved behind making an object and um, you know whether that's from mass manufacture uh, through to very very much craft stuff and what I'm bringing now I think is possibly the peak of craft right so this is made by an ironmonger it's hand forged steel traditional bottle opener 
Um, it's made of iron. I believe it's cast iron, although it is actually forged, so maybe it's forged iron. Um, this thing has been wax treated, so it won't rust. And look at the pat patina on it is, is incredible. You can see where the, the marks of his tools have like made this and wrought this out of molten hot iron. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Finished off with a, a very solid leather lanyard. This is a handmade piece of art. This really epitomizes what this video is about. Can it actually open a bottle of beer? That's the question. Of course it can. It made light work of it. Um, it's the Alex Pohl Ironmonger traditional bottle opener, 35 pounds. If you like this, which I'm sure you do, Alex also makes this variation, which uh, I've put a Brad twist on for going to beer events, and I've turned it into a literal piece of beer jewelry. So this is a, a you look at all the hammer marks on this. This is, a, this is wonderful, right? It looks like I'm in some sort of uh, cult, potentially, uh, but I'm not. I'm in the cult of great beer, I'm in the cult of great design, and I'm in the cult of appreciating hand-wrought ironwork. Um, it's an incredible thing. Oh, that is, that is satisfying. Oh, lively, <laughs> lively. But look at that. That's almost a festival beer that you've had walking around with you as well. But man, I love this thing. This is so beautiful. Um, I just think th these are very special, special objects worth the slightly higher price than you may sort of put on a simple bottle opener. But that's the thing about design is it elevates everything in your life. And once you start to notice uh, how beautiful items can be if they're well considered, then you know you start making different choices about what you buy. You buy things that will last a lifetime, things that are considered, things that are not throwaway. We're not talking fast fashion here. These are heirloom items you're gonna hand down to your kids uh, and they're gonna pop their sodas open with it. In time, they'll be popping their beer bottles open with it. And it's, it's just a thing of beauty. So last thing, you're all here for it. It's the Crispy Boy rating system. And you know what? I've been hunting these out for years and years. These, a lot of these have been friends of mine over the years. And it was gonna be five out of five Crispy Boys across the board, apart from the Floyd and Company bottle opener, which I've got to knock two points off because it doesn't function as a bottle opener but it is a beautiful object of design and I think a party starter. Um, and you know what, the rest of them, they're Stone Cold Classics, they're five out of five crispy boys. So for now, keep it crispy. This has been Lowbrow and I'll see you when I see you.